Oh, what's going on, Arizzi here? Welcome back to some more Planet Crafter today. Today's the day. We've got ourselves a brand new update. The volcanic update is live. We've got two new biomes along with a host of other, uh, a slew of other things, if you will. Um, upgrades, things like that. I'm so excited. Hopefully you're all having a wonderful day. I'm having a fantastic day. And um, in other exciting news, the uh, the Planet Crafter team has gone from two people to five people. So, you know, congratulations, uh, Planet Crafter devs. You guys are awesome. absolutely amazing. Congratulations to the uh, the three new members as well. But let's go ahead. Let's get on into this. I'm so excited to be playing. So let's see here. Firstly, let's grab some water. Secondly, let's go look at one of these machines because apparently there is now some type of... Okay, so I don't know here. Apparently there's some type of new like... Well, you know what? Maybe we have to unlock it first. Um, some kind of like new resource and like new machine things that we can make to like um, increase productivity of certain machines and things like that. So um, I have no idea. I, I was looking here to see if there's like a like a slot specifically for like, you know, some kind of upgrade option or something like that. Is there anything in this guy? Can I even access this guy? Not really. <laughs> Maybe it's like a global thing. Anyways, we have got to find ourselves the volcanic. We have a volcanic area and we have a beach area, if you will. So uh, I'm super excited to be checking this out. And like I said, hopefully you guys are all having a wonderful day. I'm having a fantastic day. If you enjoy the video, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, consider hitting the bell icon to be notified of future videos. So let's see here. Let's go run over to our map. And let's see what our map has to say. Where's the map? Is it? It's this one. Okay. So if I zoom out, oh, I don't have tier four. I don't have tier four or GPS really. Okay. So, oh, I wonder. Did the, you think that got turned into the volcanic area? Mm, no. Because okay. So let's see. We've got our we've got our water fountains over here. We've got our moon-ish area over here. We've got. I I can't see enough of the map anymore. I need a GPS satellite tier four. Well then, um, let's do this. So let's head over to, okay, hold on, what is this? This looks a little bit different. Oh, that's right. That's where the, um, that's how we get down into the, into that new, okay, let's, let's go into this crater area because there used to be, like I said, there used to be a crater here. There used to be a meteorite sitting here and then they took that out. So I'm wondering if maybe they reworked this area a little bit. Um, I could be a hundred percent wrong and you know what? That's fine. Exploration at its finest. Let's go to the waterfall. So, okay, we've got, we've seen this area. Like this area is, you know, nothing new, nothing crazy. It, they did say there's another beach biome though. And you know what? If I remember correctly, there was, oh, it's over here. Okay, the beach area is over here. So we had this area before, but these trees, remember? Cause we saw the water over here before there was nothing before it was just desert and sand. Um, oh, this is the new beach area. Oh my gosh. They actually, there's a beach. There's a beach. I love it. Okay, so what do we, what can we find? What secrets are held within the beach area? I have no idea. Maybe none, maybe everything. <laughs> um, oh, this is cool. There's a little island and everything. All right, let's go over here. Let's go on the island. Now, I don't know if they added any like other animals or anything like that. Um, so I'm not 100% sure. Also, they said there was actually another surprise in the coming weeks. So I'm kind of curious about that. Oh, we got some, uh, we got some froggy friends. Hello, froggy friends. We got some eggs, uh, generic froggies. Should we just go ahead and take those? Let's just go ahead and take those. You never know. We might need them. We might not. And that's okay. Uh, let's see. So more generic. What about the frogs themselves? I guess you can't take the frogs themselves, huh? Okay. So that's neat. Oh, <gasps> golden chest. Uh, let's see. We've got a golden seed golden effigy obsidian energy multiplier fuse insert this fuse into a, an optimizer to boost performance of nearby energy generators power multiplier 150 percent trade value 6,000 terra tokens and then obsidian terra tokens 100 blueprint microchip i bet you the blueprint is going to give us access to the um the optimizer. <gasps> What's obsidian though? Oh, that, I bet you that's in the, um, I bet you it's in the volcanic area for sure. Maybe like, I bet it's in there probably most likely for sure. <laughs> um, okay. Hold on. We gotta go check out this Island now though, too. Cause there's another little Island over here. This is super cool. Okay. So let's see. Look, I love the golden sands. Like look at the sparkly on it. Oh, it looks so good. Okay, what do we got going on here? 
not really seeing a whole lot of anything but that doesn't mean anything there could be a super secret cave somewhere that i just have no idea that exists yet okay this is really cool i like this i like our new beach area it's fun we got another island over here we better go check this one out too we can't just leave the islands here so we've got well hold on a second what is that area isn't that where the hold on we gotta go look at this area again because there was a ship that was covered in sand before remember that we, we went into the ship it was covered in sand it was cool we like we went through it we found some things and then we like glitched through it on accident there was like a door that wasn't actually there you remember that episode you remember what we're talking about maybe i don't know maybe you need to go back and watch the rest of the series um okay hold on i'm actually kind of curious i didn't see anything there but something looks different over here well, let's check this water real quick i'm trying to check to make sure there's no super secret caves something looks different over here what is okay hold on something's going on what's going on um because okay so this is where we went into right yes the door is right here that's the door that we went into this is the ship that we explored what is over here oh this is the volcanic area <laughs> i saw these rocks sticking up and i was like oh what's oh no way oh my gosh that looks so cool oh my gosh oh there's obsidian everywhere we better grab the obsidian i don't know what we need it for but we need it for something Ooh, i wonder if we can mine obsidian now over here too oh we got a little framey okay a little framey i think we have a lot of stuff loading in what's underwater here and nothing super crazy underwater oh yeah whoo we have framey we're really framey oh my gosh my health just went in half um oh wait no that was my food <laughs> never mind we're good um okay oh we are like super something there's something over here that's loading that's very framey something going on i don't know if it's the i don't know if it's the lava when we're standing still it's good but as soon as i start moving ooh. Oh, it's rough. I expect we'll probably get an update. Up. I'm sure we'll get an update about that. Um, okay. Well, we got to keep looking around. This is so cool. I love this. And you know what? I was thinking, I was like, okay, it's going to be like a regular volcano, you know, which is fine. Volcanoes are cool. But like, I love that they did this with it. Like, it's not just like one regular volcano, you know, hill and like volcano going out, like lava coming down sides. No, it's like we got these spires that are like spewing uh, lava straight. This is so cool. This is so cool. I don't need a reading. I don't need a reading for anything. <laughs> uh, we might have to go ahead and put down some miners over here. Like, I'm sure we can probably mine obsidian over here because we've got these giant obsidian rocks. Well, maybe not. I have no idea. You can bet we're going to find out, though. OK, see, things run really good right here. It was just like right over there by the shore. I don't know. What the, I don't know what the deal. Maybe. They're, oh, does that mean there's a super secret something maybe that I need to go find? Um, let's see. Okay, so iron. Okay, so we have a new resource, obsidian. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make an assumption saying we can't go in the lava. <laughs> um, I feel like we finally have a place that we cannot explore. Like under the lava? Probably a no-go. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, like we're in a spacesuit, but like spacesuits are not meant for lava. Uh... <laughs> Uh, how much obsidian do I have? Okay, let's grab one more. And then we'll have a nice roundabout-ish number. Okay. Let's see. What else do we have over here? This is such a cool area. Leave a comment. Let me know. Are you going to build a base down in here? I feel like there's going to be some sick bases going in here. This is just such a cool area. I love the giant chunks of obsidian. Oh, I want to touch it. But like at the same time, I don't want to touch it, you know? Um, I'm a little bit low on... Oh, let's consume that. I'm a little low on the water here. Okay, so what is this guy? So I saw this wreck. This is actually the wreck that I saw from a distance. I was like, wait a second. That's not the same wreck, is it? No, it does not appear to be the same wreck. Unless it's the same wreck from a different side that we've seen before. That's just now rearing its head. You know what I mean? No, this is new. This is something different. This is a new wreck for sure. Now, are we able to even get into this thing in any way? I would say that we can get into it. Okay. Um, let's, we gotta go drop our inventory off and get stuff ready. We, we can't just jump into this yet. 
What are you crazy? We can't just hop in there and go and check it out. We'll be dead. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let's keep. Let's do a quick scan of the rest of this volcanic area. Um, I will. I will later myself come over here and check this out a little bit more thoroughly, just to see what we got. Glowing worm. Oh, <gasps> it's a lava frog. That's a sick looking frog, bro. Are you the the embodiment of lava? Frog larvum eggs. Oh my gosh, that's sick. I love this. You know, I just, I gotta say, I love this game. This game is just, it's, it came out at the perfect time for, uh, for so many different reasons. One of which I feel like it came out in a time where these kind of games, like, I feel like these kind of games were, were popular years ago. And then like, and then people started moving away from them and making more of like the, you know, the more realistic stuff, you know? And I feel like we got away from the really good, like survival-y type games that were of, of like, you know, like, like this, like this is a, oh my gosh, such a good, fantastic survival game. Um, but then we kind of started getting things like, you know, Green Hell and like, you know, um, which I'm not saying it's a bad game by any means. It's just a different type of game, different genre, different niche, you know, or we got um, games like, you know, uh, Sons of the Forest, where it's just a little bit more realistic. And it feels so nice just to have a fun game that is, that they are doing such a good job with, you know, I feel like there's too many people that are um, like graphics snobs nowadays. You know what I mean? It's like, mm, the graphics look terrible. I'm never going to play it. It's like, yeah, but have you actually played it and had fun with it? You know what I mean? And uh, I think that's I just I love games like this. I, there's so much fun. All right. My hydration level is critical. <laughs> that's the problem with going to the lava area. Normally, you can just drink the water on the ground, you know, <laughs> but not in the lava area. Well, actually, I didn't try. You think our water filtration system on our suit can handle lava? <laughs> Is there any water in this at all? Probably not. Well, it's molten rock, right? So it's like, it's <laughs> probably not. Uh, but let's go drop our inventory off and let's go ahead and scan a blueprint while we're gone. I want to see what we've got here. So let's go ahead, pop it back home. And let's go ahead and, oh, we've got a new thing. We've got obsidian now, so we gotta get it. We gotta get another storage unit. Um, uh, fabric, water, rocket engines. I need a new. Um, I need a new storage unit deal. Uh, let's see. What do we need for? So locker store. I mean, we have our like super storage locker storage tier two. A way bit, actually two super alloy and a, and a microchip. That actually sounds pretty easy. Uh, yeah, two super alloy and a circuit board. We'll just go with that, and we'll just make another. Um, so that's our dump container. Oh, where do I put obsidian? Maybe right here. I feel like right here might be a good spot. All right, so let me go ahead and drop this. Throw it right there. We'll go ahead and do obsidian. Did I spell that right? Obsidian, okay, good. <laughs> I had to make sure. All right, so now let's go ahead and set up some, uh, so demand obsidian. And uh, what did we do that? What is our priority as? Priority four, okay. All right, so there's obsidian. That's good. Okay, so now let's do some blueprints. So we got the chip from the uh, golden storage. Uh, microchip map. No way. Did they add a, did they, did they add a map where I could hit M and get a map? <gasps> no way, no way. Okay, hold on. Let's grab some blueprint modules. Let's see if they added anything else. <gasps> Interior wall. No more blueprints to decode. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was exciting. Um, okay, so we got an interior wall and a map. Let's go. Um, okay. So let's see. Uh, map. Allows to display the map from anywhere to aluminum and an obsidian. Are you kidding me? Absolutely. Let's go. Uh, microchip map. And do I have room for it? Absolutely. So now do I hit M? <gasps> Guys, we have a map. Oh, and it actually, okay. We have to get the, G the GPS satellite. Oh, wait, so that. So this is, hold on. Okay, now I gotta check to see if it recenters to where I'm at. So let me pop in here real quick. Let's go to the waterfalls. And then let's hit M now. Oh, it does. Oh my gosh, there's the volcanic area right there. It looks so good. 
that volcanic area. Oh, and it actually shows obsidian on the map now. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, so good. Okay, let's go back to the balcony. I'm sorry, this is just, I was just so exciting. This is the balcony. I don't, I don't want the balcony. I want home. I went to the wrong one. All right, so now what I need to do is um, we need to throw, let's go ahead and throw, um, throw these into dump. Oh, see, now we have a new egg, a frog egg too. So that's going to kind of mess up some things. Okay, let's go put this on display. Oh, I need another display cabinet. Mm. And then let's get ourselves a miner here. Let's get ourselves an auto miner or extractor tier three, osmium, super alloy, and iridium. Osmium rod, super alloy rod, iridium rod, and then three titanium. All right, so that's going to get us our new fancy. Well, that's going to get us a new Orc Tractor Tier 3. So let's head over and let's get Obsidian set up on that bad boy. Um, I guess we'll go. Hold on. Let me grab some food and water again. All right, so let's go to the waterfall. And we'll just grab some water right here. And then let's go into the uh, we're going to go into the the volcanic area and we're gonna see if we can't mine obsidian now i don't know what obsidian's used for yet so we'll have to figure that out this area is just so good looking it looks so cool they did such a such a good job with it Ooh, can i hover over that okay i can <laughs> i was a little scared i'm not gonna lie it was a little scared. All right, so there's obsidian all over the place here. So let's go ahead and let's put ourselves down a miner. And I just killed power. Okay, but what I want is obsidian. Oh my gosh. Supply the obsidian. All right, so I now I need to go fix power. Darn it. Okay. Um, well, that's unfortunate because now my, now my teleport's not going to work either. <laughs> oh, the teleporter still works. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, cool. Um, so let's grab some pulsar quartz. One, two, three. Is it four? I'm gonna grab five and five. I know it's five of one and four of the other, but we'll go ahead and get ourselves another uh, reactor going here. Not that I have enough reactors as it is. <laughs> you can never have enough reactors. Man, if anything went critical here, <laughs> it would be, the planet would be gone. Um, here they are. Okay, so let's see. Let's go ahead and get this guy set up like right in here. I'll try to line it up as good as I can. Boop, it's good. All right, power is back online. Good. So we got that guy set up. We're getting obsidian. Now the obsidian should be brought to here, which is fantastic. Um, Let's see. Okay, so we did not unlock the next stage, which is mammals. So mammals aren't, aren't going to happen right now. That's fine. Um, but what we need to do is we do actually need to go ahead and make ourselves a fusion energy cell. Oh, fusion energy cell requires obsidian now. Did anything else change? No. Okay. So two osmium, obsidian, and pulsar quartz. So let's go grab that. The reason we're grabbing that is because there's probably a... Um, there's probably on that ship something that I can... How did the obsidian not get in here? Oh, you know why? It's because in here, the supply didn't have... Eh. That one clicked. Yep, see, there they go. <laughs> They're gone. All right. Um, and then I can go ahead and take... Let's see, one of those. So three pulsar quartz, obsidian... Was it two osmium? I think it was two osmium, right? Yeah, okay, so let's grab some rods. I wonder, is there obsidian rods? I wonder if there's obsidian rods. Is there obsidian rods now? No, osmium still. No obsidian rods though, okay. So now we have a fusion energy cell. We're good there. And I'm gonna go ahead and take, you know what? I really just need a temporary storage. You know what? Let's just dump this stuff in here. It shouldn't. We're gonna disable this just in case because I don't want things to accidentally go bye bye forever. I really want to see this thing though energy and multiplier fuse. So we need food, we don't need the eggplant. I'm gonna keep the golden effigy on me and let's grab another food and we'll just drink water on the way. We should be fine. All right, so now we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, so let's go to back to the waterfall and let's go check out this bad boy because um 
I don't have the, well, hold on. Do I have a new machine? <gasps> machine optimizer tier two. I do have a machine. Find and insert fuses into this to boost the performance of nearby machines. Machine optimizer tier one. Those almost look like they float. They probably are either or. They probably float or don't float. That way it's one machine to, uh, to do everything. Oh, that's so cool looking. To boost the performance of nearby machines. Very interesting. You know what I think maybe is the fastest way. Maybe this way. We'll go this way. Also, I believe there's probably a golden chest up here somewhere. I bet you there's one somewhere. Or there's maybe it's a, it's a blacked out chest. So we can hide among the rocks. I feel like gold would stick out like a sore thumb. You know what I mean? Um, but I don't see one. I don't see one. Okay. Let's get into this bad boy and let's go see what we can find in here. I'm so excited to explore this wreck. I love exploring wrecks. They're so much fun. Okay. So let's see. We're popping in through here. All right. Nothing in here. We gotta go to the right first. You have to always go to the right. Um, hold on, we're gonna need some disassemblage. Oh, I can't disassemblage that. But this. Oh, I had to have a. Uh, oh, I had the wrong thing on. Okay. Can't disassemble that. There's like something in there though. It looks like there is, anyways. Ooh, that's going right out to the. <laughs> Don't want to go that way. There's a worm. All right, hold on. We got our first chest here. Go ahead and take it all. So we've got some kind of control area here. Hold on. There's something on the shelves over here. What's this? Space food. Very nice. You can always need. Oh, you can always use a space snack. You know what I mean? What is this? Is that a rocket engine just chilling there? Heck yeah. Take that. What do we got here? Did we just go up or down? We went up. Okay, I can't open any of these. Oh. Let's see what, what was this? Seeds. Anything? can't really see a whole lot without the light. What is this? Oh my gosh. We're rich. We're rich. <laughs> hundred tokens. Let's go. 500, 100, 100, 100, 500, 100, 100 a thousand, 5,000? Are you serious? Let's go. Gain a total of 10,000 Terra tokens. That is amazing. That is so cool. Uh, can I can I take this door down? No. What is in here? Some kind of like test tube -y thing. Grab the seeds. We got methane cartridges. Man, I'm good. I don't need those. <laughs> we got we got plenty of methane coming out of us, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, okay, so let's see. We've okay. I think these are all. Are these all connected in the same room? Oh, what the heck? Okay, yeah. So that was okay. So that one, that one just goes up top. There's another one, I think. No, there's not. Wait, hold on. There's one there and there's one there, but that makes me wonder. So if I go in this one and I go this way, that's the other one. What is. Oh, wait, hold on a second. We can take these apart too. Where does this ladder go to? <gasps> oh, that goes behind the door. Okay. Oh, I love that. They're making these more complicated and I absolutely enjoy it. Can't do anything there. I'm also trying to find the reactor.
Wait, is this back outside? This is back outside. Okay, hold on a second. Oh, so we could have just went to this this way and said, so maybe there is no reactor here. Or maybe I was already in the place that the reactor was and I just didn't do anything with it. Okay, let me see here. So we've got this one. And if I keep going this way, that's the other one. Maybe there is no reactor in here. <gasps> Wait. Uh, no, we already went through this way. And that was the other one. Okay, did I did I get everything in here? Oh, we got the big safe, which I feel like is hands down the, I mean, the big thing, you know? I feel like there's something. I don't see, I don't see a reactor thing anywhere. Yeah, I don't, I don't see a reactor anywhere. So that might be, that might be it for this place. I mean, we got, we have 9,600 terror tokens right now, which is like the most I've ever had. <laughs> that was so nice finding that big, huge uh, safe full. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else in here. We already we already went back there. Actually, back there is just the other direction. It's just this way. <laughs> Hold on a second. I just deconstructed technical debris from this side. Um, where? Okay, hold on a second. Which means that there was something that I missed. Now it could have been. Hold on, let me let me run back around. Let me verify. So we were right there. The wall ended right here. Was there? Oh, there was technical debris right here. It was these guys. Wait, what? Storage locker. Um, okay, hold on. Nope, there's something else. There's something else. There is definitely something else here. Okay, so if I go up here and we go... I think it's this way right here. I think it's through this door. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, hold on. Let me go back in here. So there, there's something somewhere. Because there's another storage container, we're missing something. We already opened the big safe. Wait, can I deconstruct the big safe? No. Is there a false wall or something somewhere? See, there's deconstruct storage crate. There's something on the outside of this wall. It doesn't look like it though, because it looks like that's... It doesn't look like there's anything there. Well, my water is about out. See, I feel like there's something. I'm telling you, I feel like there's something here. Something that I'm missing. I know there's a seed there. My inventory is completely full right now. <laughs> um, I feel like there's more to this the, this wreck than what we've seen. But I, I honestly, I don't know. I can't see where to get through. Because sometimes some of these doors are destructible or sometimes there's like a false wall that's destructible, but I can't. I don't see it anywhere. Um, I know it says there's a storage. Yeah, there's a locker storage right there. And then I think there's actually another one. If I go back around this way. Oh, wait a second. Oh, it's not far enough over yet. So that quarter right there. Oh, this is okay. So this is no, this is different because that corner is actually right here. It's like that corner. And then this room is actually one room further away because look, if I go to deconstruct that storage locker is right here. Whereas before like that, that's the corner of that room. So that means that the stuff that I was disassembling over here is something completely different and i don't know how to get to it hmm. all right well i gotta go because we gotta get oh, our water's getting low so i at least have to go get some water um and my inventory is full so let's pop out of here and we also need to get the uh we need to get that one of the optimizers made as well <gasps> there's another secret super secret storage thingy right there oh my gosh um hold on let's go we gotta go drop our stuff we'll come back oh we got some water okay and then let's go ahead and eat some space food um oh there was another super secret thing underground we're gonna have to go check that out we might not have time this up to go check that out though we've got we've got a lot of stuff checked out already um yeah so it definitely seems like there's more with that wreck than what i have found so i might have to do some more exploration of it 
and see if we can't find a way because there's definitely some hidden things or maybe there's like another door maybe we need to explore the outside of it and see if there's another entrance all right so the first optimizer we have to build we've got to build a machine optimizer tier two and the reason for that is because we have a power multiplier 150 percent insert this fuse into an optimizer to boost performance of nearby generators 150 percent power do you understand what that might mean for us do you understand that this room is completely full of like these nuclear power generators and if i put an optimizer in here and it hits every one of these for 150 percent power do you know how much power we might actually have oh my gosh that's gonna be insane <laughs> that's gonna be wild that's gonna be so crazy oh my gosh you know what we're gonna have to do that next episode because uh we're gonna have to we need to do that and then we need to explore that other thing and that is the whole episode in itself so that's gonna be wild uh, because let's see hold on look, look at my power right now my power right now is so we've got a total of 34 155 so if we are only running 23 nuclear fusion generators at 34 155 uh let's say we get another 16,000. we're gonna have a lot of extra power to play with here which is wonderful it's absolutely fantastic so um yeah, that is really exciting, but that's going to end this episode. That's going to end this first look at the new update. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, all the fun things. Next episode, we got more to do. We've got more to do. We've got to check out that hidden place. we got to put it on an optimizer. we got to check that out. And, uh, yeah, have a good time. But thanks again for coming out. Have an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. If you guys enjoyed Planet Crafter, leave a comment. Leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll have a link down below to the entire playlist. If you guys want to binge out and watch the whole playlist thus far, absolutely do that it's cool with me <laughs> yeah have a good one i'll see you in the next one bye everybody